Hi, I'm going to show you how to work with your distortion tool a little bit to make your bridges and your arcs on some of your fonts and your different designs. I just typed out Halloween here um, in a font that I have and I'm going to come up to, I have it marqueed, and I'm going to come up to my toolbar. I'm going to hit distortion and in distortion it shows you all the different shapes and things that you can do. I like to keep freehand clicks so I can actually work and work whatever I want however I want. Um, I also like to work my box with curves unless I'm really working on a really straight lined project and then I'll work with my lines. Um, I also like to keep the convert line to curve clicked and I usually work with about four points. You can work with eight and with the points what that means is you have one, two, three or four and if they do eight points there'll be three on each side and two in the middle. I'll click it and let those boxes show up for you. See how that shows up with your eight? But I'm going to go back to a four and any of these, um, these are the different shapes and the arcs and the curves that you can work with and any of these that you click on will um, will go ahead and make your image. See how I clicked on this one and it went ahead and made my image you know look like that. Now I can adjust this even farther if I want. I can bring down my points and I can make this a little bit wider here so this really lets us personalize all of our fonts and our designs even more so or even just our, our just our fonts. It'll make you you know have you be able to make a font that looks like everybody else's look totally different by making it look different and then later we'll go ahead and put it into rhinestones and it even looks more different so I, I hit up apply on that one because I like how that looks for a Halloween design and then if I wanted to I might come back and outline that or something in orange but um, let's do one more here one that I like to work with quite a bit with the distortion tool for um, a lot of my um, school things or a lot of varsity or even the chess logos and the chess pocket things I like to work with the bottom um, right hand corner one right here and um, I usually just use about four of the points right there and see how it just curves it so it gives it a really nice curve so you can work it around a design real easy kinda of bring it in and it works really well if I clicked it over into eight points um, you know and came up in there that you could actually then you manipulate those points yourself and you can really get all of that work again in yourself and and make it totally different but it lets you put all make all these lines and adjust all these lines however however you want to adjust them to make them make the images look just like how you want but that's what the distortion tool does that's what all these different little um, things are for up in this area up through here I mean they just go through and you know these little examples and and make your your fonts or your designs distort and give them a, a whole different look so if you have any questions give Roger or I or anybody else a um, a little question heads up and we'll be glad to help you out and um, if you need any help just let us know.